Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a weekly message for the water signs that is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. These messages are general, they will not resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. Also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So I'm going to jump right into your reading, water signs, and we're going to see what messages Spirit has for you. So Spirit, what messages do you have for the water signs? Messages for the water signs. I have judgment. I have the four of cups. I have the empress in the reverse. I have the chariot in the reverse. I have the Six of Swords in the reverse. So let's get another message. I have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Okay, water signs. Spirit says, like, with this judgment, whatever you've been working on, um, I heard pay off. So there's something that you've been working on, water signs, that's getting ready to pay off this week. So, yes, you're about to see a substantial amount of growth. Um, with this Four of Cups, I heard rejection. And water signs, I feel like someone is going to be rejecting you this week. Um, you're going to experience some type of rejection this week. Um, this could be rejection in terms of a relationship, uh, rejection in terms of a job, but I really get a strong energy of you being rejected this week. With this Empress in the reverse... Yeah, I heard that like, they didn't choose you. I feel like whoever's going to be rejecting you, it's because like they don't see your worth. Yes, they really don't see your worth. It's like they... They don't value you. They like don't value your relationship. This is going to be one of those things, water signs, where it's like you don't miss a good thing until it's gone. It's like right now, they may not see your worth. Um, they may not treat you the way you deserve. But I feel like once they do walk away from you, they're going to end it up. They're going to end up regretting it. Because once they walk away, they're going to find out that the grass is not greener. And they're going to try to come back to you. Chariot in the reverse. Yes, there's going to be no forward movement when it comes to this relationship. I feel I heard another. For some of you, this person is leaving you for another person. Yeah, someone is going to get left this week um, for another person. I feel like with the Six of Swords in the reverse... Someone's going to try to come back this week, Water Signs. So for some of you, someone is going to be walking away leaving you for someone else or the worlds could be reversed this could be you walking away leaving someone else to be in another relationship and then for others of you someone is coming back or is going to try to return yes yeah, someone is coming back 
Um, I also heard someone is coming home. I heard military. So for some of you, um, this could be someone in the military. I'm a family member. I'm a spouse who's coming home this week. I feel like with this Ace of Cups in the reverse, I heard pour out emotions. This week, you may have to comfort someone who water signs. Um, you may have to um, really land an ear this week and listen to someone. Um, there's someone around you who's going through some very difficult and challenging times. Um, I also heard stranger. For some of you, you may even encounter a stranger that is really going through some challenges. And it's like you're going to be there to really listen to them and offer them some sound advice. I feel like you're going to motivate them to keep on moving forward. So it's like whether this is a stranger or someone that you know this week, I feel like you're really going to be pouring out um love and nurturing to someone who's in need so let's get a few more messages okay i have the lovers in the reverse and i have strength in the reverse I also have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Yes, someone is going to be leaving a relationship this week. This could be you or this could be the person that you are connected to. I feel like with this strength in the reverse, I just go back to this Ace of Pentacles. I mean, not Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Where you're going to be having to nurture someone um, really offer some sound advice because I feel like with this strength in the reverse that this person is really going through a very challenging time um, I feel like this is going to surprise some of you because this person really knows how to put on a good front so to you it seems like this person is okay um, everything is going well in their life but it's like this week they're going to come to you and really pour out their emotions and let you know you know all of the difficulties that they are experiencing so it is going to be a shock to you but it's like you're going to be there to really uplift their spirits with this ace of pentacles in the reverse i heard like an opportunity lost an opportunity missed so for some of you, you may miss an opportunity this week or you may feel like you have missed an opportunity this week. But Spirit says come back around. So it's like whatever opportunity that you feel like you're going to be missing out on this week is going to come back around. And um, I heard different. It's going to be presented to you um, in a different way. But it's still going to offer you the same fulfillment that you would have received Um had you taken advantage of the opportunity when it first presented itself. So I feel like you're not going to be losing out on anything this week, water signs. I just feel like you may feel that you missed out on something, but it's like something better is going to come along and still give you that fulfillment. So I heard job. For some of you, this could be a job. So maybe you might end up not getting the job that you want. You may feel like you lost out on a position but it's like there's going to be a better position presented to you or a better job presented to you that's going to offer you more than you expected. So you're still going to end up in a place of abundance. You're still going to end up happy. You're still going to end up being fulfilled. So, But I feel like at the beginning of the week, for some of you, you're going to feel like you missed out on something. But it's going to come back around and you're going to end up with more. That is what I'm getting for some of you. So let's pull some final messages.
Okay. I have self-acceptance. It says nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself when you offer your whole being fully to love. Self-acceptance arises spontaneously. May I rest in our oneness, dear divine. Um, for some of you too, Spirit just says with this Ace of Pentacles, you may feel like you missed out on an opportunity when it comes to a relationship. When it comes to a connection. Um, and I heard past, this could be a past relationship for some of you. You feel like you missed out on an opportunity um, to be with your divine counterpart. But spirit is like, you didn't miss out on the opportunity. Like, it's going to come around again. And for some of you, this is going to be taking place this week. So you may have been thinking about a past relationship and wishing that you would have done things differently. But it's like this week, someone is going to come into your life that is going to be the one. Like, that's going to be the one, the person that spirit has for you. And you're going to realize that this relationship, this connection actually gives you everything that you desire because I feel like in the past relationship you were at a lack you were at a deficit and it's like yes you had the emotional tie to that person but it was always something missing well this person that is going to be coming into your life is going to be the complete package so yes it's like coming back around again so it's like what you thought was lost wasn't actually lost it's like spirit Allow that situation to fall apart so that something better can fall in place. So with self-acceptance, yes, accepting yourself again, someone is going to be going through a very difficult time. And it's like you're going to help this person. You're going to help this person see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's like you're going to offer encouraging words. And this is going to motivate this person to continue moving forward. Feelings. Emotions want to be felt. You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow me, dear divine, to offer all emotions to you. Feeling them fully so they no longer hold me captive. Yes. Feelings. Emotions. Um... I feel like this is for those of you who may be walking away from a relationship, rejecting someone, or who may be getting rejected. It's like Spirit is saying that if you are going to be getting rejected this week, if you're going to be ending a relationship, it's like allow yourself to feel it. Allow yourself to grieve. Allow yourself to heal. Because by doing so, you will be able to release and you will not have anything blocking you from receiving another relationship, from experiencing love. The last message, relationship. Yes, relationships. It's all about relationships this week, Pisces. Whether this is you helping someone, a friend, a family member, someone returning from the military. Whether this is the ending of a relationship. It's like it's all about connections this week, whether it's family, friends, or intimate partners. This says, I call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way. May it now fully belong to the divine. Let it unfold in the perfect way for each of us. I need and fear letting go of control. My needs are always abundantly met. Yes, your needs are always abundantly met. Even when you don't feel like it, even when you feel like you're at your lowest, your needs are always being met. It's like God will never leave or forsake you. Whether you're having the best of days or the worst of days, God is always there. So yes, lean on spirit when you feel like you can't stand. And for some of you, you're going to be that person that someone can lean on this week. So yes, relationships. It's about nurturing your relationships this week and nurturing yourself. So I hope that these messages resonated. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. I hope that everyone have a blessed week.